Yeah. Oh, yeah. sorry. Stop hugging me. Like, he's like my kid. Like, uh, yeah, I have to hug him every now and then. It's just one of I really thrive on scientists who are also good people, which means that you know they, they have good connections with their other with their own scientists and so on. Mark, could you sequence my DNA for me? Of course. Are we filming with sound? Yeah. Um, something scientific. Oh, but we have to talk also. Rather than a movie, I would mention the book Frankenstein, which I read as a high school student. Mary Shelley portrays what drives the scientist to do what he did. Now that's not, of course, not justifying that, that approach, but simply I think she got it right in terms of the passion that drives the, drives the, the scientists, this need to know something. I'm into uh, mountain biking, very much into mountain biking, and uh, climbing, and, and I play ultimate frisbee. Those are the three things. Here's where all the people are from our group. We're from all over the world. The first rule of ultimate frisbee is spirit of the game. And I run a team of researchers, and that's the rule of my that's the rule of my research group. Ready to rock and roll. That's you. you know, clearly in science, you need to you know scope your path through through the through the forest, right, of academia to get to to get to where you want to be. Um, and clearly, when you're climbing a wall or climbing a rock face, you got to do the same thing. Good. I just like to be able to uh, you know challenge myself physically. I'm in a very stressful field, right? Like I, I'm responsible for 20, you know, 20 people. These are my academic children who've entrusted their careers to me. And I take that very seriously. But very importantly, I think it's, it's the younger generation that's, that's the, the key, right? Yeah. Yeah. Science and nerds. That's probably. And so 